Hey, welcome back, Vineyard Kids. Let's get right to the rules. What's rule number one? Be quiet. That's right. Show me your number one finger. Grab a bubble. Put it near your lips. <gasps> oh, good job. What's rule number two? Stay seated. That's right. What do we do? Crisscross applesauce. Okay, good job. What's rule number three? Be a good listener. That's right. And if you're listening, you're not talking, right? That's rule number one and rule number three. Okay, you can't do both at the same time. So be a really good listener. This is a great story today. I can't wait to tell you guys. Do you guys know what time it is? It's Bible verse time. All right, here's our Bible verse. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Hey, let's do it again. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Hey, thanks, Sean. I really like this Bible verse. It's, we're almost done with it, but we're not quite done with it. So we're going to do it one more time together. Okay, you guys ready? I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. You guys want to do it one more time together? Okay. Whew, here we go. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. All right, great. You guys want to do some voices? Yeah? Let me get the voice button. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> loudest whisper. You guys know how to do the loudest whisper? Yeah, you got to whisper, but you got to be loud. Okay, you guys ready? I praise you. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Ooh, ooh, that gets hard to do, doesn't it? All right, you guys want to do a second voice? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Pirates. Okay, you guys ready to do your pirate voice? Okay, get ready, get ready. All right, here we go. I praise you because I am fearfully, oh, good job, and wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Oh, you guys are so good at being pirates. I love it. Oh, today's story is one of my favorite stories in all of the Bible. Hamilton, he always leaves me a clue to the story. Oh, I know what this is. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh. Look, it's a tambourine. Whoa, it's a musical instrument that you, know, you can play. You can hit it or you can shake it. I like this. I know exactly what this is about. All righty, first things first. This is the... Bible and the Bible is God's word and God's word is what true oh you guys are so good all right so this is the story we're talking about today you guys remember David remember David and Goliath he swung the the slingshot and he killed Goliath right and he defeated the Philistines right and then he was anointed king right and and then he was um um, he ran from the king because the king was trying to hurt him with the spear, right? Okay, so all of that happened. But 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 when when David was king, okay, um, he was fighting the Philistines again, and he was kind of concerned because he had heard that God, or he had heard through the the, the rumor mill, the the people talking that um, he was going to uh, go have to go to battle with the Philistines. The Philistines would come attack and they're going to kidnap him and take him away and all this fun stuff. So he went to God and he said, God, what should I do? And God said, oh, go, go out and defeat them. It's all good. And he said, okay. So he went out and he actually defeated them. And he defeated them twice. Something else happened in the same time, guys. There was the Ark of the Covenant. Whoa, that's a really big phrase, right? 
All it means is it was a very, very special gold box that very special things were inside, okay? And basically it was just a symbol that David knew that, uh, that, that God was with him and God was on his side because God helped him defeat the Philistines, right? And so what happened was it had gotten stolen, which is not good. But guess what? It got, it got, it got taken back and, and it brought, brought back into the city. And then it, David saw it and he was like, this is so exciting. And even though David was the king, he took off his crown. Take off your crown, guys. Took off his, 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 his cape, whatever it's called. He put down his scepter, right? And he went out into the street, right? And he was like, I am so excited. I'm going to dance. His wife was upstairs and she was like, her name was uh, Michael. And she said, uh, people are going to laugh at you, David. Don't go out there and act, act silly. You're, you're, you're being, you're being crazy. You're being, you're being silly. He said, that's okay. I can be undignified because I, I'm out here praising God. Right? So he danced. You guys dance a little bit at home. Can, can you hear the music? I can't hear the music, but you can dance a little bit. All right. We can do that too. We can dance for God. We can worship God. We can do all kinds of stuff to worship God. Remember, we're going to do some painting and, and we're going to do some, some um, musical instrument stuff. And you can worship God by uh, praying like we always do every week, right? You can worship God like that, like David. We want to dance like David danced. That would be so super exciting, right? So this week, sometime to get this week, guys, I want you to just break out and dance wherever you are, right? And if somebody says, what are you doing? You say, I'm going to dance like David danced. Oh, that would be so cool, guys. Hey, listen, don't forget, 6 o'clock on Wednesdays, I want you guys to come to the Zoom meeting. We have so much, so much fun stuff that we do. We have puzzles. I'm making some puzzles up so we can do those. There's scavenger hunts, all kinds of fun stuff, okay? So be there, 6 o'clock, Wednesdays. You guys ready to pray? All right. Hands in the air. Wiggle your fingers. Put them on your head. Put them on your elbows. Put them on your knees. Put them on your shoulders. Put them on your elbows. Put them on your knees. I know, every week, every week. All right, put your hands in the air, wiggle your fingers together, clap them together, put them in your lap, blink your eyes closed, and repeat after me. Hi, God. It's us in Vineyard Kids. Thank you for our teachers and helpers. Thank you for our family and friends. And thank you for letting us worship you. We love you, God. Amen. Hey, I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye.